Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. We are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Little windy. Goals. Is it best to set goals or is it best to just go with the flow? Let's just... Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. I got a question that came in. Someone asked, is it better to set goals or is it better just to go with the flow? Do you really want to achieve a goal right now and it's just not happening? And you're like, should I just go with the flow or should I really set a goal and focus on this goal? Does that happen to you? Like, really? And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> How many goals did you set today? How many did you actually accomplish? Now, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. You see, are goals better to set or should we throw goals completely out of the window? Let me say this first and foremost. Goals give you a sense of direction. If you are totally lazy, you need goals. <laughs> goals will help you get your ass out of bed. So goals are good if you need that drive. Because sometimes when you're just like, hey, I'm just going to go with the flow, you get really lazy. You start procrastinating. What's helped me along my journey is to Along my early journey, I was setting goals like, okay, I want to inspire millions of people and it wasn't happening. I had relationship goals, food goals, money goals. <laughs> it just wasn't happening. But at least it gave me some direction. So goals are good to have direction. I'm going to get into why a lot of people's goals don't manifest. We'll come to that later. Because it's not just about goals, it's about setting themes. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Now, goals are very serious. I must do this. I must meet the woman of my dreams, the man of my dreams. I must be a millionaire before 30. I must, I must, I must. I must have the perfect body. So... Goals are very serious. They create a lot of resistance and resistance makes stronger. What's helped me along my journey is to realize this. First and foremost, it's about themes. So having a theme of your life, ask yourself today, what is the theme of my life? So along my early journey, my theme was become your greatest version. Just that title. Sounds pretty cool, right? Become your greatest version. So every single day I was focusing on that theme, which helped me to manifest the life of my dreams. So themes are less serious. They're more forgiving. Okay. Sometimes what I found along my journey, too many goals can create a lot of deadlines. You got to be here at this time and that time. And that's cool. But at the same time, there's a lot of pressure. What happens when you don't meet those deadlines? Oh, you feel like utter failure. So the beautiful thing about themes or going with a flow, having a certain vision in mind, but not being so hard on yourself, is that you have lifelines. No deadlines. No, no, no. You have lifelines, which means you give yourself another chance. Okay, if you don't accomplish that goal, it's not over. If you don't meet that deadline, don't worry, because we have another lifeline. Should we phone a friend? That's what's helped me along my journey. Look, a lot of people right now have huge dreams. And especially when a lot of people are awakening, they want to live the life they truly want. They want to just go to a beautiful beach and meditate. You can live that life, but give yourself more lifelines to do it because it may not happen overnight. No, it definitely won't happen overnight. <laughs> it takes time. I've realized, I've realized this, that you've got to trust your journey. Trust the timing of your life. Now, many times people who have 
People who have a lot of goals often become control freaks. It's sad to say, but the fact still remains, it's happened to me along my journey. Like, I must do this, I must do that. And it just wasn't happening, but I'm still trying to control it. So remind yourself this, that you will become a control freak if you're just always so consumed by your goals. Because once again, a goal is just a goal. Okay, <laughs> it's just words, it's just a goal. But themes are more flexible. Okay, I've realized that having a theme of my life become your greatest version is very flexible. I'm not into controlling things because once again, there is something called maktub. That's the Arabic, it means it was written. And I've seen that so long as you are in alignment, you can begin to let go a little bit and go with the flow a little bit because it was written. And that's what I do every single day. I trust life that every single day I am going to be living in supreme abundance. Now, goals, goals, goals. <laughs> I've seen along my journey that sometimes goals create a lot of expectations. Seven day vegan challenge. Expectations create a lot of pressure. And when expectations aren't met, we never feel good enough. So sometimes people say, Ralph, I've got to go to go vegan because I've seen your videos and I'm really inspired right now. But Ralph, I can't do it. It's so hard. Chill out. It's okay. I'm not going to judge you. Neither is the cat down the road. So that's why you got to go at your own pace. Because sometimes if you always have these massive expectations, oh, Ralph, I want to get over a million subscribers on YouTube. That's cool. But what happens if you don't do it overnight? <laughs> so I've realized that you have to be less rigid and you have to allow greater, you have to, you have to really allow greater flexibility. You got to take the pressure off. I've realized when you can take pressure off yourself, you can actually create from a more authentic way. Look, when I was first sharing with the world, I was slowly taking the pressure off to say, actually, it doesn't matter about the outcome, okay? I've realized that just focusing on goals is cool. That's beautiful because it gives you direction. Some people need that, but at the same time, many people who have these grand goals, they are so focused on the destination, on the getting somewhere, they forget about how it feels to move there, the actual process. And that's why themes are so beautiful. Now, to really create a theme, what is like a title or a catchphrase that really inspires you? So for me, it is become your greatest version. For you, it could be I want to wake up every single day with a bunch of grapes in my mouth. Seven day vegan challenge. Okay. Or eat better, feel better. That's a theme. And every single day you can check in to say, okay, am I living this theme out right now of my life? Okay. So I've seen that it's not about crossing the finish line. In fact, there is no finish line. There is no pinnacle. And you have to really enjoy the process. That's why I've been able to manifest all my dreams and goals and visions. And it's still, it's still happening for me because I've still got huge aspirations, okay? But I'm not pressurizing myself. I'm enjoying the process. What is more important than the goal is the setup. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. <laughs> what is more important than the goal is the setup. It is everything you do before you score the goal that matters the most. Okay? You need to be in the right frame of mind to even start fulfilling your goals. Everything you do before the execution is paramount. It is so important. So I've seen this as well, that a lot of people have goals and then they <laughs> stop. You just stop like that. You just stop. You just stop. I can't believe it. You're resting on your laurels. So it kind of happened to me a little bit 
almost for one second. I'm like, oh, I've got over a million YouTube subscribers. Well, it's time to pack up, right? That's what we call resting on your laurels, but I don't do that, okay? I'm not like saying, oh my gosh, I've fulfilled these goals. No, I gotta keep it moving. You see, when you create a theme, you don't rest on your laurels. In ancient Greece, if you won in the Olympics, they would give you a laurel wreath. No medals, no gold medals, just a beautiful laurel wreath, okay? So that phrase, don't rest on your laurels, is really what will help you move forward more progressively. And that's where the beauty of themes come into play. I've realized this, that a goal is just a goal is just a goal, okay? A lot of people talk a lot about their goals. I wanna start a business, Ralph. I wanna be a social media influencer and make lots of money, right? And chill with the cat down the road. That's beautiful. Some people say, Ralph, I really, I really wanna wake up people into a higher consciousness, okay? That's beautiful, but what are you doing about it? Nobody knows. So I've realized this, that okay, goals are cool, but don't get stuck on the goals because goals sometimes are just thinking about goals. They're not actually doing it. Once again, they're not actually in the preparation for the setup to actually achieve their goals. So I've realized this, that you gotta prepare. And that's why themes are so beautiful. They help you prepare to become your greatest version. So if you really wanna manifest a goal, any goal, prepare for the goal. Make sure you're in a good frame of mind, mentally, your emotions are balanced out, okay? Spiritually balanced out and physically balanced out, okay? It's all about how you prepare to go to the next level. I've seen this, that it's all about radical action. You gotta be able to live out your goals, not just talk about them. It's not, a, it's not about what you say, because to be honest, I can have like a million goals, but whether I do them or not is a whole nother story. So instead of just talking about your goals and thinking about your goals, actually do something. How about that? So once again, are goals better than themes? Are goals better than just going with the flow? It's about balance. Have healthy goals, but don't put too much pressure on yourself. Be realistic and remind yourself that when you create a theme of your life, like become your greatest version, live well, eat well, okay? You actually fall in love with the process. And that is the setup, the preparation. And that will ultimately lead you to manifesting any goal. And then you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? We are out here in the heart of nature, baby. Just, whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Have a beautiful day, deep divers. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace. You! <laughs>